Hello everybody, Laura here. So today I have a layout share that I'm wanting to show you guys and I've titled it Cute as a Button and I got the inspiration for this layout. I was watching some older videos by Oh Snap Gonzo, Sandra, and some of her newer, or her older videos and she had done a layout that um, was called Cute as a Button and she had laid out some buttons that way. So that was my inspiration and I took this photo of my son and it was his, um, he was, it was into the school year sixth grade so they were doing their like um, graduation type thing but not quite graduation. And so he was dressed up all snazzy and he has this, his shirt is like a dark purple. And so I picked through all of my buttons that I could and I found dark, I had dark blue and dark purple and there was a couple of the lighter purples and lighter blues in there but I tried to stick with the darker ones as best I could. And so I'm just layering the picture and I found a frame that was, it was just like a purple frame and then those two sheets of dark blue cardstock and they were um, just two long strips out of my scrap and so I just kind of stuck them together and you can't really tell too much that it's two pieces added and then I decided to mat that on a dark purple cardstock as well and so I'm gonna start sticking down the buttons and I end up cutting out um, quite a bit of that because I figure Nobody wants to watch me stick a bunch of buttons down, so I'm going to get those put on and I'm trying to shape it into the heart, a heart the best that I can. And I'm still trying to learn the best I can with scrapbooking. Like, I'm really interested in it and I like watching the videos. And so I get a lot of inspiration from a bunch of different people that I watch. So in this particular layout... So I pulled my inspiration from O Snap Gonzo, and then here in a little bit, um, like I see that technique there where you fold up the edges of the paper, and I guess it just brings it a little bit of dimension around the photo, kind of brings it up a little bit. And so whenever I'm scrapbooking, I kind of, sometimes I don't know why I'm doing what I'm doing. I'm just doing it because I've seen someone else do it, and think it would look good like for instance here I'm gonna unwind some dark blue thread and I see Missy Whedon do that and a bunch of her layouts and of course hers looks way better and I've got a little purple there too and so I'm gonna stick down the thread and kind of lay it just so it falls around and I thought it fit quite well with it being a button layout and then adding thread to it and I had never added thread to any of my layouts before, but I bought thread so that I could do that. And so I'm glad I finally got to make a layout where I added thread. I'm kind of just watching to see what I do and because I made this video probably a week or so ago. As you can tell, if you can still see my blue fingers from a card I had made like last week or so. And here I'm just taking a piece of plastic or like clear packaging and I'm laying out all the letters to spell out cute as a button. And the first, those, I'm not sure where I got those alphas from. But I'm going to put cute as a, and then these are, um, I'm going to spell out button. And this came um, from a sheet that was just out of one of my paper packs that had stickers in there with it. So I'm going to use up some of these alphas. I bought a couple more, or I got a couple more alpha packages recently, so I'm going to be working on building up my stash because I really don't have that many and I have to keep using the same ones over and over it seems like and that's the word dream it's a cutout and I end up not putting it on my layout and there's a lot of pieces that I pull in that I don't use 
I think I struggle with um, doing my embellishments and things like that. And I stick some on there and then I pull them off and I just don't think it always, you know, it doesn't look right. So I keep moving it around. And I'm not sure what that says or that I even leave it on the layout. I don't think I even use it. When I pulled out some pieces, I was thinking of doing like black and white, and um, I'm not sure where it's from that boy ephemera pack that I got, but I do end up using the word perfection and that little tab there on the left side. And I found these, I also have these photo corners, and I think that they look nice, so I'm gonna go and stick those on there here in just a second. And they were like a darker purple to match the papers on the um, through my layers. And that perfection I have, and those little square pieces, and that little circular piece that says dream. I and the photo corners as well. I found a like bag from the thrift store that just had a ton of different little die cut pieces from. They look fairly old, like it, they're not from anything new, um, and I just have a bunch of them in a bunch of different colors and stuff, so I'm going to hopefully add some more of those here and there and get those used up, but I don't end up using any of those pieces on this layout, and I'm just moving it around trying to find out what I want to do, but like I said, I do change my mind several times. I'm just laying down a strip of paper to kind of guide me to where I want to put my alphas so they kind of stay in a straight line the best that I can anyway. And I was thinking about doing another layout that for my daughter with basically the same concept um, everything the buttons the cute as a button and all that and it will be most likely most likely like pink purples kind of things like that because that's usually photos of my daughter she's usually wearing some kind of pretty girly stuff so I thought about maybe doing another layout with a picture of her, so we'll just see. I might even try to get it done soon, and that way I could put them kind of side by side. And I have that little black heart, and it says love on it. And I end up sticking it down at the bottom, bottom right hand corner of the photo. And this is a little like banner piece, banner flag, and <clears throat> excuse me, it's more like an acetate, so acetate in like gray and white, and I think it's from the Belle Rouge collection. I've just got them both mixed together between the Belle Rouge and then that boy collection that I have. They're just all mixed together, so I Sometimes I can really tell what's what, but then some of them I'm not sure which ones are coming from. And I'm struggling with what to put up there in the top left corner. I have a black and white piece, acetate piece, <clears throat> and then I have, and I keep deciding between that and then this other piece. It's just like a white label with silver around it. There was a round circle, but I don't remember what it said. But I ended up putting down a piece that says, it's black and white, and it says something like, be courageous, be kind, be strong. And I just thought that fit. And at first, I'm sticking down these pieces, these enamel squares and circles, but I ended up pulling those back up because they weren't quite the blue I wanted. So I pulled out my homemade enamel dots where they had 
these dark blue ones that fit pretty perfect so I just stuck those in it and I'm putting it more in a diagonal down the page it's kind of the way I wanted to stick with it if I could so I'm placing everything going in that direction I put a couple there on top of the thread to even hold down the thread even more <clears throat> excuse me and here I'm gonna put on some homemade ink sprays and I have purple and blue the blue wasn't quite as dark as I would have liked it to be but it still looked good in the end and then here I'm just using some India ink out of the dropper and I bought that a long time ago and I've never used it before so I was excited to get to use that finally and then here in a few right there I see I don't know why I did that there was a splatter of the indie ink and I wiped it I don't know why I wiped it but so there I'm trying to put like some gesso over the top to make it whiter and it's not gonna go away so I go through and find um, there was just this piece that looked like notebook paper and I'm just gonna stick that down that's where I did my journaling at and I don't believe I did it on camera but off camera I found another little piece that said memories and I stuck that on the top so thank you guys for watching that is my layout and I will talk to you guys later bye